how many roots do the following functions have? Well, roots, if you look at these three graphs, roots are x-intercepts, or how many times does a graph cross the x-axis? Another word for roots is also called zeros. But if we want to find out how many roots a quadratic has, we want to find out basically how many times this equals zero, because zeros are where the equation equals zero, which means where it crosses the x-axis, or how many times it crosses the x-axis. So, how many times does it cross the x-axis? Well, it could cross never, it could cross once, and it could cross twice. Now, how do we tell that right off without actually solving it? Because technically, to solve this, you would set the equation of quadratic equal to zero. But how do we do it without doing the whole graph and or solving the equation? Well, what you do is you look at the quadratic formula. When you look at the quadratic formula, this b squared minus 4a piece here, b squared minus 4a c piece, this piece is tells you how many answers it will have. For instance, if what's inside of here, the b squared minus 4a c, if it's less than zero, which means negative, that means this is going to be negative, which means it's imaginary. If this is going to be imaginary, that means there is not going to be any solutions because the solutions will be imaginary, which means there are no solutions. So it's a graph that never crosses the x-axis. So if what's inside the square root here is negative, it's imaginary, thus no solutions. If what's inside of here is 0, well, if what's inside b squared minus 4 is equals 0, it's one solution. Because if that was 0, there would be nothing plus or minus. So simply when you plug in b and a, you get one answer. That one answer is the vertex, negative b over 2a. See, negative b over 2a. So bam, you just get the vertex, which the vertex touches at one point. So again, if this right here equals 0, it's one solution. The vertex is that one solution. Normally, you have two solutions. The graph usually crosses twice. And that is when what's inside of here is positive, or also known as greater than 0. So what's inside of here is greater than 0 or positive. You have two answers. And we can use quadratic formula to find those two. So what we do, basically, if we want to find out each of these problems, how many solutions it has, all you do is you look at your a, b, c. Your a is negative 3. Your b is 1. Your c is 5. You plug it into b squared minus 4ac, that part of the quadratic formula. And when you do that, as you can tell, a, b, c, I plugged into b squared minus 4ac. You can see I got 61, which is a positive number. So a positive number is greater than 0, so it means there's two solutions. It's a graph that crosses twice. Again, a, b, c, a, b, c's, plug it into b squared minus 4ac, I get negative 8. Negative 8 would mean it's negative, which means it's imaginary. There'd be imaginary inside the square root. So there are no solutions. The graph never crosses the x-axis. And this last one, you got your a, b, and c. Plug in b squared minus 4ac. Do the math. I got 0. When you get 0, as you can tell, you get one solution because this drops out and you have negative b over 2a, which means the one solution is the actual vertex of the parabola. So it's a quick way to see if you have one, none, or two solutions without having to do the whole quadratic formula.